Have you ever wondered what the world is made of? Many of you probably think this is the smallest thing in the universe, an atom. But this isn't true. Atoms are made up of even smaller building blocks called quarks. These quarks are, are part of a larger number of fermions which make up all the matter in the universe. You can think of each of them as a character in a video game. Each has its different moves, size, and strengths. These fermions can interact with each other by exchanging another type of particle which carries forces, called boson. Think of these bosons as the character's moves or powers. This is called the standard model, but it's not perfect. It defines all four fundamental forces of the universe, the electric force, the weak force, and the strong force, except for the gravitational force. And that's why string theory was created. It is able to define gravity using a boson called the graviton. Now, how does this theory work, you might ask? Imagine instead of having multiple characters in a video game, you only have one that can pick up power-ups to change forms. The character represents one string and its vibration represents its different forms, with each one being a different particle of the standard model. Now why is this important? Well first we need to understand how particles move. They are one point, one pixel, and move in a one dimensional line. And because particles are so small, we can only create a probability wave of where they arrive. This includes the different paths and interactions which it might make creating infinite possibilities and making it impossible to define gravity in particular. However, a string can close into a circle, so when it moves the number of paths decrease as they are grouped into one larger 3D path. Think of the standard model definition as one path in a video game with movement in string theory is defined as a map, including multiple paths making interactions happen gradually instead of instantaneously. So if it is proved, it will allow scientists to know the properties of all particles and on the far side we could discover teleportation. However, more likely, we can understand weird phenomena like black holes. Sadly, this theory has multiple issues as it only works on a universe with 20 dimensions, it can't represent all particles of the standard model, and it implies the existence of a new particle, the tachyon, that is faster than the speed of light. If you're interested, you can actually explore superstring theory which reduces many of these issues.